This is a box I wish I'd opened a week earlier. I'd literally just finished writing a preview of the Apex Maker X1, and I had this big problem with that printer. The parts I printed were so large that nothing I made would fit in my normal wash and cure machines. This thing is huge, and not only is it big, it's an all-in-one machine. You essentially have a miniature dishwasher here that's made specifically for resin prints, that not only cleans your parts but cures them too in one continuous process. The idea is you put your part in fresh from the printer, you pull out a cleaned and cured part ready to paint. But there's a big problem that may stop many of you from using it. Let's take a look at that and more. So hi, I'm Ross and this is Fohammer Videos. So if you look at the site, the sales pitch is very clear. All in one, it washes and cures in one go. It has a huge, almost 15 litre capacity and even saves on isopropanol or whatever cleaning agent you choose to use. But does it do what it advertises? Um, so here's how it actually works. Everything you need for this comes packed inside the cleaner itself. And it's great, you instantly get to see just how huge the capacity of this unit is. And I've tested a device like this before, which was the iBoss Oceanus, and whilst that needed you to use your own containers and bottles to load and unload the machine, this comes with two 5 litre containers so that the whole system remains all but sealed and you have less risk of any spillage. Connecting it up is easy because all the hoses are numbered, as are the screw caps on each bottle. One bottle is for your cleaning agent, or as any cubic call it, detergent, and this bottle has a pipe to pump both to and from the max. The second bottle is a water container, and with this you pump water into the unit and the outlet hose goes to a pop-up bucket that you get with the set. The instruction manual even correctly explains to you how you should properly dispose of resin from this bucket. But to figure out how the device worked, I kind of had to trick it and remove the magnet so I could keep the lid open when it's on, because normally it will lock the lid closed throughout operation to protect you from anything harmful. And I started by loading an already cured model and loaded both containers up with water. So when you see clips of me touching a model without gloves, don't worry, it was already fully cured. And when I say I loaded it up with water, well, to be fair, this was printed with Wargamer resin, which is water washable anyway. And whilst water washable resins typically don't like being soaked for long periods because they turn brittle, this way of cleaning works really, really well. Instead of submerging parts, as I said before, this is more like a dishwasher. The parts are loaded into a cage which just spins at the bottom of the unit, whilst a row of slits in two of the corners spray the full five litres of your cleaning agent at the part. The models will then continue to spin in a small pool of cleaner at the bottom of the chamber and this is just for a couple of minutes and is to essentially dilute and rinse off any residual thick clumps that hang onto the undersides of your model. All of that cleaner is then recovered back into the bottle it came from. The next stage is rinsing and all the parts in the chamber are then sprayed with a litre of water from your water container. When this is done, the UV light comes on immediately and the cage continues to spin in what appears to be an odd and inconsistent manner, frequently changing direction and stuttering as though it's struggling to turn. Maybe there's an intentional pattern to this, but if there is, I don't know it. After two or three minutes, once the curing process is done, the model is then rinsed again with another three litres of water before it pumps this all out into the pop-up bucket and beeps to tell you it's done. Now I have to say that I think this device is an incredible feat of engineering from any cubic, and I'm sure many of you will agree that this ticks a lot of boxes. Whilst it's big, it's still an all-in-one unit and saves some space. It's a sealed system to save mess, and it's got a very large chamber for larger model capacity. It's incredible, though these comments come swiftly followed by a larger butt than you'd see on most popular celebrities. Actually, there's a few large butts. The controls themselves are very limited, you basically have auto mode and that's it. That will run you through the process you just saw, and there's no option to change cleaning or curing time in any way. Yes, you do have a separate function to add additional curing time, but that's a separate function. You can't affect the cleaning process at all, or even run the cleaning process without a cure in the middle. And as somebody who's printed a lot of things, I can very much understand why you'd potentially want to first inspect your model to make sure it's clean before you just go ahead and cure it. 
and I'm also wondering why it rinses my parts with a little water, then cures it, then rinses it again. Surely after curing, all of the liquid resin was washed away or cured. I don't understand why we're washing it again. And people have quite rightly said in comments about the earlier printer that was similar that I tested, which was the Ibos Oceanus, that curing straight after the water rinse may leave streaks, but I haven't personally seen any. So that's good. But the biggest but is that whilst this does a good job at cleaning most parts, because the components are never submerged, you aren't diluting or rinsing the resin from inside the models at all. So if you do have hollow prints, which you probably do if you're printing large things, don't be surprised if you remove them from this only to find there's still a good bit of resin dripping out. And if you don't notice it, don't worry, it'll run out in a few days all over your desk, shelf, carpet, or wherever you leave it. And I've got to say, the claim that this will use less of your alcohol or whatever cleaning agent you choose, that's a bit absurd. You replace your cleaning liquid at the point that the resin you've cleaned starts over-contaminating it, no matter which type of device you use. And whether you pump 5 litres of cleaning agent at the model out of a spray hose, or dunk it in a 5 litre container, they're both going to wash off just as much resin and become contaminated just as quickly. And another thing that people pointed out, I do worry for when the small traces of resin start to be partially cured against the nozzles after several cleaning sessions. Would this not just build up and block them eventually? I don't know, but I worry that that problem is going to be there. So whilst I do love this and how clean and tidy the solution is, and I applaud it and want to encourage that these sell well and encourage more companies to build solutions like this and innovate on what's come before, you can only really use this if you don't hollow your prints and the default cleaning and curing times are adequate for the resin you use. If you have a more tenacious resin that takes a bit more rinsing than most, this may not adequately do the job in one pass, but it'll still go ahead and cure it anyway. Is this a device for you? That's your choice. Let me know down in the comments. I really want to use something like this and for solid miniatures that are in water washable resin, I think this is great. But anything larger that's hollowed, you're going to struggle and it's probably going to be a pass. But let me know anyway. I want to say thank you for watching and thanks to our members whose names are up on the screen now. Please consider joining them to get the same along with early access and exclusive content too. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to help others find this content, don't forget to click like and add a comment to boost visibility. Until next time, go watch a decent YouTube channel. Fohammer out.